Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube video. Today's review is going to be on the brand new Fenty Beauty Concealer and Finishing Powder. And you know I had to bring out the robe, okay? If you pay attention to the savage. Bam! Okay. Stay tuned for the demo, guys. Okay, so I'm already wearing my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 430, okay? And so Rihanna has a setup to where whatever shade you are in the foundation, you are in the concealer as well. However, when I swatched that, um, for a highlight shade, it wasn't light enough for me. Um, it's more of just like a natural lighter shade. Um, and to me, I kind of want that like highlighted sculpting contoured look so I went with the shade 400 because it's closest when I swatched it on my hand in Sephora it was the closest thing to my current concealer which is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting in the shade Chestnut okay so this is what 400 looks like I liked it because it does have that golden undertone and that's very similar to the concealer that I'm used to wearing. So I don't really know how much coverage this is going to give me. So I'm going to just start out with this amount and hopefully this is all I need. I think it will be all I need. I'm going to blend this with my beauty blender because like... If you can't blend with a beauty blender, especially the black one, the Beauty Blender Pro, because this one is the best one that they came out with, then I don't know, sis. I don't know. Okay, so, so far it's looking pretty similar to what I'm used to, which I'm glad about, because I would have gladly taken this back to the store. I don't play about my coins. I'm not on anybody's PR list, so that means I gotta spend my own money to try this stuff out, Riri. And it would have been coming back to you. Trust me. Okay. So I kind of want to add a little bit more because if you can see, I still have some like lines here underneath my eyes that I want to cover. So what I'm noticing is that like it applies very evenly, however. I don't know if it's as full coverage as what I'm used to, what I want. Y'all ever do your makeup and it starts to get hot? Like, I feel like I'm about to start sweating. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So I'm gonna go ahead and see Y'all, and I need my eyebrows wax. I know. Don't clown me in these comments, okay? All right. I've had a busy week. I haven't had time. But honestly, that just goes to see whether or not how good this this concealer is if it can transform my brows into something that looks like something. <laughs> And I don't like to use too much concealer around the eyes or the eyebrows. Um, sometimes I see people do that. I don't want too much. I don't really want that like highlighted brow effect. Just more so just clean up what I didn't have time to get done. Now, like I said, I love the finish of this concealer. I really do. I just don't know if it's giving me that glam, glam, oh my gosh, coverage, coverage, coverage. I don't see that. Like, I don't see that at all. Um, so I would definitely say that this is more like a medium coverage. Like, oh, you want to be beat, but you want to be beat in moderation. Not like season 10, level 10 ready or nothing like that. Okay. I'm going to go against my better judgment and just do a little bit. I don't want this to look cakey, y'all. I really don't. So I got the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Honey. And I just want to say that Riri, I love this freaking packaging. This looks like something you want to put on your beauty table and have displayed. It looks like so luxurious and I am a sucker for good packaging, like really am. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the little film. And if y'all are like me, then you have seen a few of the reviews about this 
powder so far like can you see that dust is it just me okay whatever <laughs> so I have seen videos so far on this and they say you have to be very careful they say it can get cakey it says don't go on heavy and I'm a person who likes to bake like I use my Sasha buttercup powder which is what I thought this color looked the closest to because initially when I saw all the shades listed on Sephora.com and FancyBeauty.com I thought I was gonna end up getting banana but when you go see banana in person banana is super light and I'm not really with like the white base powders on brown skin I kind of think that it sometimes look ashy and you know I just wasn't really willing to risk that so I got honey and that's how it looks looks very similar to the Sasha so I'm not gonna dip this in here that much that's what I put That's it. Because like the reviews on this have me kind of terrified. And it's like on one end, it's cool that you're not supposed to use that much because then the powder should last you longer and you should really get your money's worth. Like what do you guys think? I love the color of this. Like I am. Can I add some down here and not look like a clown? I'm gonna let this sit for a second, okay? Let it absorb the warmth. But no, seriously though, this package is freaking to die for. Oh my god. And I like that it's a really good size jar for $32. Like, it's cheaper than Laura Mercier and it's supposed to be super oil controlling which is what I love about my Sasha so I'm really hoping that this lives up to the hype because I get really oily in my t-zone and I'm really trying to prevent that okay so I went ahead and did my eyeshadow and mascara off camera um, but while I just go ahead and bronze a little bit we can get into the specs of the concealer the Fenty concealer and powder so I personally love this powder like I definitely think it was for me I will put in a little um, note at the end of this video after I wear the concealer powder duo today um, and let you guys know whether or not it did control oil whether or not I did get shiny okay right now I'm just bronzing my face with the Morena Butte bronzer in the shade Ebony and I'm gonna go in with my Morena Butte blush in the shade Cardinal And I went ahead and I pulled out my Fenty Beauty Matchstick Highlighter in the shade Cinnamon out of retirement. I haven't been using this like hardly as much as I thought I would. And it's because I know the matchsticks are meant for people with oily skin and I understand that, but I'm only oily in my tea. So the formula is really dry when it goes on my cheeks and it kind of sometimes is hard to blend. It just was not doing it. I'm gonna finish off with some more of my minted cosmetics bury me gloss Ooh. so my final thoughts yes I love the concealer I love the powder if you are wanting a super 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 full coverage concealer I would say maybe try the Too Faced um, super sculpting however if you're looking for medium coverage if you're okay with that and you like a moisturizing but yet matte finish then the Fenty Beauty would be perfect for you I personally think the better of the two products is the powder I love the color okay I love the warmth and the color um, they definitely give you a lot of product for $32 and the packaging is gorgeous okay um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video please like comment and subscribe okay